morning YouTube welcome back to another episode sorry it's a little shaky I'm walking through stuff it's uh it's like 7 a.m. where I'm at right now and it's an early morning but we got to get some stuff done today so today's video I'm gonna sit in the shade is not a care video um, it's not an unboxing it's not like a reptile room it's none of that stuff. It is kind of a feeding video though. Um, today's just going to be a vlog. I'm going to put out some of these like normal, I guess just vlogs of doing maintenance and stuff. Just I guess what it's like to keep a large collection. We're going to feed stuff. We're going to clean some enclosures. I'm going to show you a few things. The chickens are saying good morning. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of take you guys along with me on a day off and uh, just kind of daily rituals and stuff I guess. So. To start today, um, I had to soak one of my mangroves. Sorry, I'm a little tired. I have a lot of energy, but I'm a little bit tired too. My brain's not like all the way on yet. So, oops. I had to soak one of the mangroves. And I say we had to soak. We didn't. He had some suck shed on him, like I said. And. I thought I was going to have to soak him because he did have an eye cap on him. Well, it turns out everything was really soft. So we got the eye cap off, no problem. We got the little tip of his tail off, no problem. And so now I'm just letting him kind of get some water. Um, actually, i probably just take him out now. All right, guys. So we've already looked at these snakes before. I've done a couple videos on it. Um, if you look a couple weeks back, I just did a Boyega episode. I am going to be doing a more in-depth care guide on just this snake right here very soon because a lot of you guys keep these. Um, it's probably the most common of this genus so we are going to do like an entire care guide on mangrove snakes. Um, we'll go over the regular dendrophila, the Indonesian, and then we'll go over the Malaysian as well but uh, we will do a care guide on both of them. This is my bigger Malaysian he came in as an import, um, and again, like I said, a lot of what I'm going to say, some of you have heard already in previous videos, um, those who want to hear a little bit more, just look back to the previous videos or wait for the newer videos, but this is my bigger male, Melanota. Now you can really kind of tell that he's an import when you look at him, um, if you look right here on his tail, he's missing probably like a good six at least six inches on it boy I have really long slender tail tips he's missing quite a bit of it really really good animal though you can tell that these guys are the melanota locality not only because of one the size of them the uh, regular dendrophila don't get quite as big but also just because of these if you look at the way the banding is you see how they kind of triangle out Every single one of these bands has basically a taper to it. None of them meet at the top. Uh, that's usually something that you can look for in Melanota. Now, one thing that I will say is I've had a lot of people tell me that this isn't a Melanota because the bands don't connect or whatever. On all the, the mangroves, some connect, some don't. It happens on both localities. Like, I've seen really long stretched bands. I've seen almost no banding at all. I've seen pinstriped like lateral bands and that's on melanotas and then on the regular dendrophila that have basically thinner um, kind of flush ringed bands all the way around and a little bit tighter together. There's still times where they don't connect, they do connect so don't use that as your identifier. It's crazy the temperament on this snake now though. Um, when we first got him in, a former employee used to uh, really enjoy getting like strikes and stuff out of these guys. So he definitely became really people shy, really hand shy because of stuff like that. Now he's starting to get uh, definitely a lot better.
These are just all around really, really great snakes. But we're gonna let him just kind of drink a little bit more water and uh, we'll go move into the reptile rooms and stuff and do a little bit of maintenance. We'll feed some stuff. We'll probably actually feed him today too. So yeah, we'll, we'll put him away. We'll move back inside and we'll get some other stuff done. But since I had him out and he was soaking and stuff, and these are such a cool snake. They really, really are. I think, uh, I think I'm going to change the brand logo and stuff to a uh, mangrove. These are really one of my favorite snakes on the planet. They're so awesome. But I just wanted to share him with you guys a little bit. As you can see, he's not lethargic in any way. He's definitely moving. He's curious. He wants to check things out. He's just not really too phased by people anymore. Uh, we do handle him quite a bit though. So that's going to be a big part of the reason why. You didn't want to stretch out that way. All right, guys. Um, let me put him away, and then we'll jump back inside. Okay, guys. Welcome back inside. Um, we're going to start off, I guess, by cleaning a few things in the room. You guys have seen the room before. If you've watched the monitor video... You know what it looks like. Um, we've got the mangrove over here and he's got some bedding that needs to be changed. And I need to pull that the shed out of there still. And then we need to give one of the sidewinders water and then we need to swap or change the water on the monitors down here. For those of you guys who don't keep monitors, uh, prepare yourself for this. No monitor water bowl stays clean. Um, you'll change it five minutes later. It's going to be full of dirt and poop or something. So prepare yourself to clean a lot of uh, water bowls. Also, we haven't talked about this yet, and we will in a upcoming video. But in here is a small little juvenile um, Asian water monitor that we're rehabbing. So that's a, that was an import that came in really, really rough. And... I'm going to turn him around. He's going to make it. He should be perfectly fine. And who knows, maybe this channel will have an Asian water monitor for you guys to enjoy. And if not, then somebody will get a nice, happy, healthy, socialized water monitor. <laughs> so one of you guys will either get lucky or you'll all get lucky and you'll see it on the channel. So that's why I took that. Um, yeah, anyways, let's not... We've got a lot to do today, so let's not waste too much time. I'm just going to set this up right here for a minute. Move that cord out of the way. And we're going to start cleaning this guy. done. Uh, now we got to do the sidewinder really quick. So... So that's going to do it for the bedroom. We just had to do the monitor waters. The mangrove needed a bedding change and a water change. Clean that shed out of there. And then the sidewinder needed water as well. So now that we're done with this room, we can move into the reptile room. And 
yeah, we can do a few things in there. I've got a couple animals soaking and I'll explain that in a minute. And there's not too much maintenance. We are still going to feed. So hopefully this isn't too long of a video for you. Assuming most of you guys are still at home on quarantine and all that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, hopefully this kills like a half hour instead of 10 minutes today. So I don't know. You guys will have to let me know if you care for these vlogs or not. Anyways, uh, let's go. Let's go into the reptile room. I'll see you guys in just a second. You know what? Scratch that. We're going to go. I'm going to go in here where it's quieter. We're going to thaw some feeders out before we do maintenance. So that way they thawed when we're done with maintenance. And then we don't have to do this again. So we're going to thaw some feeders first. So you guys can come with me for that. Okay. Feeders are inside. One more feeder thing. It wasn't outside. Quail. So, we're not feeding everybody today. We are only feeding a few select snakes. So, we're thawing out one, two, three, four, about five weaned small rats and a couple pinky mice. And we're gonna do some quail as well. Um, we'll treat the monitors and stuff with those. And aside from that, that pretty much be it for today, guys. So let me put these back. I'm going to let these start to thaw out, and then we'll go take care of the other stuff. And then we'll feed at the end. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm being a little bit quiet because my roommate is asleep in the next room over, so excuse me if the volume drops a bit. Um, welcome back to the reptile room. You guys saw this room in the last video. Not much has changed. I haven't made a whole lot of progress yet, but we will get there. Um, a few things I have to take care of today. The indigo is... It sheds constantly, and I have everybody on paper towel right now, so it makes maintaining humidity for that shed really difficult. So, Indigo needs a soak. Um, Nova just came out of a shed. Nova's getting fed. Bond just shed. He is getting fed. Khalifa decided that... Her water dish looked better upside down. And she would rather live on sopping wet paper towel, so we gotta clean that out. Um, she's getting fed, so is Banshee. You'll notice the nigriceps are not in their cage. They are soaking right now because one of them is in shed. So they're gonna get put back in. And then we've gotta clean out the cynodon and another one of the carpets and one of the green trees. So let's go ahead and jump into this so we can feed. I'll be right back. forgot one. First thing we got to do is get this little mangrove out of the soap. shed out one of the nigriceps and then put them away and then we'll move on to the carpet. So we'll put this back.
Okay, you guys, so I'm just going to kind of time lapse over everything like that. That way you guys can just get a quick look at stuff, um, play music over whatever. You saw the little mangrove. I was testing to see if he would strike because usually he's a really, really feisty little one. So I was going to show you guys a strike or two. I was not just antagonizing him, I promise you guys. So you saw the Boyega right now. We are going to move on to the carpet python. Then we will put the indigo in a soak. We will actually need to clean the bedding on the frilly as well. And then we'll do the other carpet python. So I guess let's just do the carpet pythons first and then we will move into another one. One second. you guys so there was the carpets you saw the boyga we're pretty much done with everything i gotta change the bedding on the frilly really quick and throw the indigo in a soak before we feed but that's not really anything exciting and nothing that i can really show to you guys i'm not going to really take either of them out other than just moving the indigo into some water um he's got shed on him right now so i'll show you after he's out of the water and then the frilled um i just showed you him in the last video so we're going to feed some stuff. Um, I'm going to do this really quick while this finishes thawing out. So I'm not going to take you guys long for that, but I will be right back and then we will feed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, not a planned video like any of the other ones. Really just decided to turn the camera on and bring you guys with me for today and my stuff around the house and show you guys kind of the little things that I get into on a daily basis. So yeah. I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Seems sick. Okay. We're back. Time to feed some stuff. I have everything thought out. I chopped up some quail for the lizards, and then we have rats to feed. The rats will be back in the reptile room. We are back in the bedroom. We're going to start with feeding some of the monitors. So... It's not going to be from this point of view. I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to see if we can't get some of the meeting off the tongs. There's no promises, you guys, because the only one that I've had for some time now is my Savannah. So I can promise you the Savannah will run out for food. The water monitor, um, you will see. I mean, he's still in rough shape and he doesn't know people yet. So maybe we can get him to. It's doubtful. His will probably go in a bowl. The spiny is awesome. I'm going to try to get the spiny out and get him to eat off of me for you guys because a lot of the times he will, but sometimes he's still a bit shy. So we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm going to flip the camera around and I hope you guys enjoy this part. This is the last part of the video and then we're going to get out of here. So hope you enjoy the next five, 10 minutes or so. Let's jump into it. Okay, so the water monitor doesn't want to eat. I kind of expected that. I tried to mess with them a little bit. I didn't want to mess with them too much. I thought maybe taking him out of the water would get him to maybe take his mind off of me and then maybe just scent the food. 
Um, he's just interested in hiding right now, so we're going to move past him. We're going to go ahead and try to feed the... We'll feed the Savannah monitor next since we can let her come out on her own, and then I will try to actually take the Spiny out and feed him for you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into feeding the Savannah. Turn this thing back around. Now here's the difference with the Savannah. She always knows that she's usually going to get treats if she comes out. And she's usually really good when she does come out. Come on, sweetie. So there's the savvy for you. She's always a lot of fun to feed. She'll come take food right out of your hands, right in your lap if you let her. Um, very food motivated, but a lot of fun. There's probably a lot of tricks that we could do with her. Um, however, that's not why I have her is not to do tricks. So I don't teach her tricks, but you do have to make them work for their food every once in a while or she does get fat and lazy. So she enjoyed her quail. Um, we're gonna try to feed the spiny neck and then we're just gonna go feed off these rodents to some snakes. So let's feed the spiny. I'm gonna try to actually get that one out. And uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so little different, like opposite of what was planned. Um, he did not come out and eat on me, which is fine. He's a little more shy inside of his enclosure. So if he's going to take from the tongs, I actually rather him take them in the enclosure than on me because he's more used to taking them while he's out on my arm or something, if that makes any sense. I don't want him to be shy in there because I want opening the store and going in there and stuff to be comfortable for him. So that's actually pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, so we're pretty much all done with the monitors and the bedroom and mostly everything. We've got five rats and a quail to feed off in the reptile room. And aside from that, we're done with all the chores for today and it's nine o'clock. So that's not too bad. Uh, a couple hours, lots of stuff to do, do it every single day. If it's not in the morning, it's in the evening, but it's part of what comes with this. And to be honest, I love it. Um, I probably wouldn't keep reptiles if it wasn't so, um, demanding, I guess. It's not very demanding, actually. It's a pretty easy hobby, but to provide proper care and stuff for your animals, I can't wait to have everybody back on substrate, but for now, um, I enjoy taking care of them, and it, I like having something to do like this every single day. So let's go feed some snakes, and let's wrap this video up so that I don't take up too much of your guys' time. Thanks for watching so far, also. Um, and you guys will have to let me know if you like these little just vlog days, but, uh, yeah, anyways, off to the snake room. Let's do this. Whew. Teleported back in the reptile room. Once again, last stop, time to feed some stuff. So 
let's just start getting rats and let's just start feeding some stuff. Um, first off, we'll feed Khalifa because she's always ready to eat. Let me flip this thing around. Sorry guys, but I thawed too many rats. Um, I was counting for two snakes that I'm actually not feeding today. So that sucks. Um, yeah. So two more snakes to feed. We're going to feed Bon and then we're going to feed the mangrove. And then we're out of here. So let's feed Bon really quick. And uh, I'll be right back. So that's it. I'm not going to show you the mangrove because he's a shy eater. He's not going to eat them off the tongue. So I'm just going to leave the quail in there. And that's pretty much everybody you were going to see. The beauty, the carpet, and bun. And then the monitors. So yeah, let's, uh, let's wrap this thing up. Yeah. Hop back in the other room so I can talk a little bit louder and say see you later. One second. Okay guys, well, that's today's episode. That's the vlog, the, the daily maintenance vlog of keeping this stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video episode. I don't know if I'll call this an episode, um, cause these aren't really episodes. I don't know. You guys tell me, should the vlogs be episodes? Should they just be considered vlogs? The other stuff, I mean, they are, they are vlogs, but they're not like this. This stuff I try to make a lot more like just uncut, you guys just kind of seeing what's going on versus kind of cutting stuff together a little bit more. I don't know. I'm still going to edit this. I don't really know what I'm saying. Let me know if this style of stuff is something that you guys still enjoy. I'll do more of this because this is a lot easier to do than to sit down and kind of plan out what video I'm going to do for you guys. Um, but anyways... Like I always say, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell down below so you know every time that I upload a video, and uh, tell your friends, share your friends. There's a lot of boredom right now, so if you guys are looking for a new channel, or you know somebody that might enjoy this channel, send it their way. Uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you guys are not following the Instagram yet, that's where most of the posts happen. There's giveaways on there. We do take votes for making videos and stuff, so... Follow the Instagram, rads underscore reptiles, and I say it every time, I could not, would not do these videos without you guys. I hope you enjoyed killing some time with me this afternoon and this morning, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Love you. I feel good!